Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mr. Shenanigans himself and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lee with Shenanigans of 1977. It's episode 512 of the show. We're going to talk some NXT Event Center going on right now. Uh, NXT kicked off with a big, humongous brawl. They were trying to do some recapping about what happened last week. And then Vic Joseph's like, can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? I'm like, well, I thought, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, they cut They cut to the scene. They cut the kickoff NXT, the Dyad, Gallus, the Creed Brothers brawling all over the place, fighting all over the place, going nuts, going crazy. You know, the Creed Brothers had Ivy Nile watching that back. Gallus had Joe Coffey watching that back. And you got Ava Rain and Joe Gacy watching the Dyads back. There, Everybody's brawling in the place, and it leads to the matchup uh, that is happening right now, the triple threat for the uh, NXT Tag Team championship that's where we're at that's where we're standing right now and uh meanwhile i'm going to try to switch to, oh, wait, wait. i'm wrong remote the, the red sox game is going on right now as well and hmm what's going on here one nothing i still one nothing still one nothing in minnesota but uh might i might i digress on this one this uh, NXT is going on, uh, starting off crazy. We're going to see uh, the Grayson Waller effect. Um, NXT champ Carmella Hayes will be the special guest on the show. Looks like Grayson Waller's got a shot at the, at the uh, NXT title at Spring Breaking. And then you got women's action. Roxanne Perez, the former NXT women's champ, goes up against former NXT women's tag team champion Zoe Stark. She held the title with uh, Io Shirai, now Io Sky. So we got that going. So we're going to. I'm going to get back to this matchup here. A lot of action here. And just uh, it's, it's a lot of craziness going now. Crazy. It's been a crazy day today, to say the least. And I'll tell you what. And I'll tell you what. It's been, like I said, totally nuts. So uh, we're going to get back to the action here. So, uh, well, we'll see what happens. I'll, give, I'll, show, I'll tell you the results of the matchup and anything that's happened afterwards. Well, uh, the matchup is over. And uh, Gallus did retain the tag team titles. And then Dijak was interviewed about the draft and about Ilya Dragunov. And then uh, Dijak was starting to get a little uh, a little rough with the cameraman. Apollo Cruz, hey, that's not necessary. And he goes, oh, I know what it is. It's a draft. You want to show up and show out? And so and he goes, my and he basically is how it's like you and I go, I said, my schedule's wide open. So we'll see if that match between Dijak and Apollo Cruz would be happening. As you know, the draft is coming up. That means NXT is involved in this, so this is going to be very... This is going to be very interesting. Will Electra Lopez finally get drafted to either Raw or SmackDown and join her uh, join her Legato Del Fantasma running buddies to uh, rejoin the, the LWO? And if that is the case... And if that is the case, who we see Zelina Vega... And Electra Lopez team up? Hmm. That would be very interesting to see. To say the least, you got Zelina Vega, a little small, a little speed, and high flying aerial attack. And you got Electra Lopez doing the ground and pound. Who knows? Who knows for sure? So, but upcoming and coming up next, Daphne's Rejoice, no, Pinky, Noem Da, the Heritage Cup champion, will be making his. In ring debut stateside here in NXT, uh, you know, as opposed to when he made his debut um, in the NXT UK. So it's good to see Noam Da. Pink, Pinky's up. Dopties rejoice. So, all right, I'm going to see what's going on with the game between the Red Sox and Twins, and I'm keeping I'm keeping it muted, and. Okay, it's still one nothing, and there's a runner at third, and I'm like, oh, and there were a couple of ducks hanging out at Fenway Park, actual ducks. So, 
Uh, and, but it has not affected the game as much. It's still one nothing. So Sonny Gray is trying to... Yeah, Sonny Gray, he used to have problems. He had problems with the Red Sox. Man. Well, Chris Hale's wheeling and dealing, though. Uh-oh. There. Lower. All right. Oh, wait, kicking and screaming? Uh, let's see what that's all about. Oh, Will Farrell, Rubber Duvall. Let's see some info. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, exit. All right. So, we'll see what happens when Noam Dar makes his in-ring debut. Coming up next. Alrighty then, uh, coming back, um, there's a new segment called Hard Hitting Home Truths with Nathan Frazier. And Nathan Frazier realized what what was holding him back a little bit, but he says he cannot feel sorry for himself. He's going to keep going. God respect Nathan Frazier for that one. So he he's got to he's got to keep going. That's what he needs to do and trying to get pick up some victories. So we'll see what happens there. Then um, the net NXT, they reckon he's now Noam Dar is now officially recognized the NXT Heritage Cup champion. That title will be coming over from the across the pond to the states to bring some British um, um, British rounds style to NXT here stateside. And he took on uh, Miles Bourne. Noam Dar picks up the victory. Check please. That's how he is. And then Roxanne Perez uh, addressed uh, Zoe Stark and Tiffany Stratton. And, in fact, the goal for Roxanne to get back the NXT Women's Championship from the new champ herself, Indy Hartwell. We'll see what, we'll see when if that's going to happen um, soon. But for right now, right now we got a couple of matches. Um, former Dusty Cup tag team partners, Cora Jade and Gigi Dolan. Remember when they first um, bust up, uh, burst on the scene in NXT as uh, members of the... Uh, of the Dusty Cup tournament. So they're going to go one-on-one, -on -one, though, against each other, uh, Cora Jade and Gigi Dolan. Meanwhile, uh, the match is going to happen, Dijek versus Apollo Crews. So so you're talking about a couple of women's matches, uh, uh, women's action, to, tonight. So I'm really excited about that. Let's see what happens here. Um, we know the drive's coming up, so I know Dijak and Apollo Crews were once on the main roster, Trying to reinvent themselves, and we'll see if uh, we'll see what happens in between. So it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. So uh, excellent matchup. I gotta say, I'm gonna check on the game again. And it's like I'm covering NXT and I'm covering the game. Let's see what we got here. Still one nothing, and uh oh, Red Sox are in trouble. Bases loaded. Bases loaded with nobody out. Ooh, boy, what he's got. This Donovan Solano guy, 0-2. Come on, Chris Sale. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to... So we'll see what happens. So uh, so I'm hoping it was all good. So when we come back, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I think Zoe Stark and Roxanne Perez coming up next. We shall see. So I'll get back to you. I'll tell you what happens. And uh, we will... Um, and I will uh, just... Uh, you check you guys later. Um, stay tuned. Sit tight. All right. Uh, coming from the commercial. Uh, uh, coming to commercial break, as you know, uh, Roxanne Perez addressing Zoe Stark and Tiffany Stratton. She wants to be once again the NXT Women's Champion. I think I mentioned that before. Josh Briggs went to Keanu James' office, office wanting to talk to Brooks Jensen, trying. To, and she says, nope, nope, nope. We don't want you to talk to yourself. Brooks Jensen with a whole new look. His hair is slicked back. And he had basically asked Josh Briggs to leave. And it seems like to me that I think country grit is no more, unfortunately. The former NXT UK tag team champions are now split up. And it seems like I, I've got a hunch there will be a mixed tag match between Fallon Henley and Josh Briggs and Keanu James and Brooks Jensen down the road. So, so there's that. Um, I, Odyssey Jones was set to have a matchup, but then uh, Braun Breaker speared, speared, speared the big man in half, 
and he starts running his mouth, and then Duke Hudson interrupted him when he uh, when uh, Braun Breaker mentioned to uh, Andre Chase. Duke Hudson says, "You're gonna get it. You're gonna get beat by," and then puts Andre Chase. I was hoping Duke Hudson would take on Braun Breaker one on one, because that would be a heck of a matchup. Andre Chase is gonna get wasted, I'm afraid, by um, Braun Breaker. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. And then uh, Mackenzie Mitchell interviewed Cora Jade about you know what she said about the women's division, and she's and Cora Jade was complaining about how Lyra Valkyria decided to interrupt things, but then Gigi Dolan interrupted. Uh, you know, uh, interrupted uh, Cora J saying that her Instagram themed butt, I'm, and she has a nice butt, Gigi Dolan, no doubt, uh, says she's going to kick Cora Jade. So this is going to be interesting. And up now, Roxanne Perez is heading to the ring, and she will take on Zoe Stark coming up ma- next. But before I. Uh, Decided to let's see what happens here. Now the Twins have tied it up with the Red Sox, uh, and so right now the Sox and Twins are tied at one. So, so there's that. So uh, we'll see what happens. Then coming up next, I'll get you, I'll, coming up next, Roxanne Perez, Zoe Stark. I will give you the results of that matchup and whatever uh, whatever matches happen afterwards. So uh, I'll see you guys around. Sit tight there. Well, it seems like pretty deadlies are a little bit ticked off about what the D'Angelo family did to them. So they're challenging them to a match next week at spring break, and this is crazy to say the least. I hope pretty deadly knows what they're exactly what they're doing. Uh, meanwhile, the matchup between Zoe Stark and Roxanne Perez going on now. Zoe Stark is in control of the matchup. We'll see what happens afterwards. Uh, we'll find out what's going on. Meanwhile, okay, it's on commercial. All right, so meanwhile, game's on commercial. I think the Red Sox and the Twins are still tied at one apiece. So we'll find out what's going on there also. And uh, we'll, we'll get back to the conclusion of the matchup between um, Roxanne Perez and Zoe Stark. Stay tuned. Well, a uh, heck of a matchup between Roxanne Perez and Zoe Stark. Perez did win the matchup. And she was about to address the uh, Man NXT Women's title situation. All of a sudden, Indy Hartwell, the women's champ, comes out and said, Hey, how about it? You didn't lose this title. I owe you one. And if it hadn't for you, I wouldn't be champion. So how about you and I at spring breaking? Roxanne Perez is about to accept the challenge. Tiffany Stratton. Now we know why Michael Bombardier does not like her, because she is an arrogant, arrogant young lady. To say the least, though, she's very good in the ring. She's complaining about not getting her title shot, and so Indy Hotwell says, "Fine, I'll take on both of you in a triple threat." Seem to make, and so that happens. And then uh, Mackenzie Mitchell in- interviewed uh, Grayson Waller. And uh, Grayson Waller says, "Oh, the match between me and Gargano did not have an unsanctioned matchup." Well, it happened. It match happened there, Mike, and you lost. Simple as that. But you did earn your way to a number one contender status again. This time against Mr. Carmelo Hayes. So I'll tell you one thing, Chief Running Mouth. Get ready to get your butt kicked by him. Then you got Von Wagner and Mr. Stone were talking, and Von Wagner's like, "Come on, give me a second chance." And, and Mr. Stone said, "No, you have to. I'm ready to open up." And he finally admitted that this business is in my blood. I've always wanted to be part of the WWE. And my dad was a Beverly brother. That's what he said. He acknowledged the fact that his father was a Beverly brother. It's a good start. Smart man. Smart man, Von Wagner. And uh, I'm really excited about it. But next up, the lovely Gigi Dolan. Um, she would be one, 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 of the female, one of the female wrestlers I would have a, a one-night stand with. But my, but my, I digress a little bit. Neither here nor there. Uh, but however, she's still gonna, she's going to take on Cora Jade, and that match is coming up next. So, uh, um, stay, um, just stay tuned, kids. Just stay tuned. Well, it seems, well, it seems Axiom now is addressing scripts. It seems that those two guys are going to go at it one on one, pretty pretty soon. So better watch out for that. Danny Palmer, So Ruka, Tank Ledger, and Hank Walker were celebrating on TikTok, um, celebrating the victory. 
I mean, celebrating Tank Ledger's debut, even though he didn't win the match against Joe, the Iron King, Joe Coffey. Gigi Dolan and Cora J went one on one, and JC Jane, as usual, gets involved. I'm trying to screw her former uh, Toxic Attraction partner through, and Gigi Dolan threw JC Jane to Booker T. Hopefully, Booker T's okay. And Cora J, though, picked up the victory over Gigi Dolan. Cora J addressing the women's division and addressing Lyra Valkyria. Lyra Valkyria says next week, spring break, and you and I are going one on one, basically. Mackenzie Mitchell interviewed Eddie Thorpe and uh, Eddie Thorpe talking about um, uh, all the stuff that's going on, being a Native American and, and whatnot. Then Damon Kemp interrupted him. Eddie Thorpe, my suggestion to you is challenge Kemp to a matchup. Show him what you're made of. Because I think Eddie Thorpe is going to be the man of the future. I know he should be known as Carl Fredericks. He's, he's going to be an unrated talent in Japan, but I think he's going to make big waves on NXT. Coming up next, Dijak going one on one with Mr. Apollo Cruz. Stay tuned. All right, uh, coming back. Uh, uh, coming back. Uh, come for the commercial break before the Apollo Cruz Dijak match. That's in progress right now. That match is in progress right now. We're gonna have yet the Grayson Waller effect with the NXT champion Carmelo Hayes. Uh, Big Daddy's Bar, you know, uh, Josh Briggs and Fallon Henley could not believe what, you know, what has happened to uh, uh, to Brooks Jensen and uh, and Fallon Henley. I mean, not Fallon Henley, and Keanu James. Keanu James and Brooks Jensen walked in. They issued a challenge to a mixed tag match, which is no surprise, at spring breaking. And you know what? Josh Briggs says, if this is what it takes to beat some sense into you, that's, that's fine. So, we'll see what happens there. That's going to be an interesting matchup to for sure. And uh, so, right now, Die Jack, Apollo Crews in progress. So, we'll get you results on the matchup. And then afterwards, we'll also uh, to about to conclude this video, um, about to talk about... Um, Grayson Waller effect with uh, Carmelo Hayes. The NXT champion. So this is gonna be very interesting. So this is gonna be fun. So uh been a crazy day all 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 day today. Been crazy up and down today. So I'm glad it's almost over. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> So uh so we'll be right back with um we'll be we'll be right back with to uh, for the conclusion of the matchup between Apollo Cruz and Dijak. All right, a, a lot, a lot to uh, sort out here in this situation. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, Apollo Cruz and Dijak. The match is over. Dijak wins the matchup. He's about to attack uh, Cruz after the matchup, but Ilya Dragunov comes out, headbutts him a couple of times, kicks him in the face, knocks him out of the ring. Here comes officials and referees trying to separate these two. Then J.C. Jane um, was asked why he, why she got herself involved in the matchup. She starts dissing Gigi Dolan. She says, I think Gigi Dolan forgot to tell the tale about how she left her brother at 17 years old. It seems like J.C. Jane's making this thing personal, and that's a big mistake by J.C. Jane, and Gigi Dolan's going to make her pay for that. That's for sure, in the parking lot. Right now, the North American title is on the line. I forgot about this matchup, Wes... Uh, Wesley defending the title against Charlie Dempsey with Drew Gulak in his corner. Drew Gulak decided to attack Wesley before the match even happens. Well, right now, Wesley's hanging in there against Charlie Dempsey. So, we're going to get you to the conclusion of this matchup. The result, um, the conclusion of this matchup. And, and the situation between, uh, uh, and Grayson Waller effect with him and, uh, the NXT champ, Carmelo Hayes. All right, the uh, North American title match is concluded. Wesley did retain the title despite the fact that Drew Gulak got involved in the, in the matchup and afterwards, and it seems like Drew Gulak wants to be the, ne the next North American champion. Meanwhile, the Tony D'Angelo family, that be Tony D'Angelo and Channing Stacks, Lorenzo, the underboss, they accepted Pretty Deadly's challenge, and they decided to uh, challenge him to a matchup for a first-ever trunk matchup. I suspect that this may be working like working as equal as to a casket match. You stuff and opponents inside the trunk and close the lid, it's over. That's what I'm thinking. 
And so I am just going to have a little bit of fun here. Um, next up is the Grayson Waller effect with special guest, the NXT champion, heavyweight champion himself, Mr. Him himself, Mr. Mellow Don't Miss, Carmelo Hayes. I'm sure Twick Williams is going with him. Be careful what you say, Waller. Be careful what you say. That's coming up next. All right, the conclusion of this video, we're going to conclude it right now. A little trash talk in the Grayson Waller effect. Uh, Grayson Waller effect with uh, NXT uh, champion Carmella Hayes and his running buddy Trick Williams. And ladies and gentlemen, it's going to go down next week's spring break in the mixed tag match. We got the trunk match going. We got the NXT women's title in a triple threat. And what? You know, Lyra Valkyria versus Cora J. A lot of things are happening, man. And I'll tell you one thing right now. This is going to be a fun next week, spring break in 2023, a fun event. And that is where we're going. And now we conclude this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the show and enjoyed the episode. Remember, give my YouTube channel a, 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 a subscribe. My videos a like if you want to. And ring the bell for notification if you want to see more videos. So uh, we're about to have, so we're about concluding this video. Episode 512, Eric Lee against the 1977 uh, NXT Event Center for the 18th of April 2023. And until the next episode comes rolling around, take us home. And if you excuse me, there's a game that's going to conclude. So we'll see what happens there. Let's go. Let's do this. Boston, come back and win it in the bottom of the tent. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E. Do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with... A sweet both of raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.